Ladies and gentlemen, VIP promotions in association with Freedom Boxing proudly present this, the first contest of the evening. The officials have been appointed by the Central Area Council of the British Boxing Board of Control, who stood at ringside is Mr. Alan Alster. We are live and exclusive on VIPboxing.tv, where our triumvirate of commentators this evening are Steffi Bull, Jimmy from Freedom Boxing, and Mr. Funchal Madeira himself. Luke, thank you. This first contest is for three minute rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the regular shorts trim with white. At the weight he scaled 10 stone, five pounds. He hails from his hometown of Dewsbury via his homeland of Syria, presenting Yusuf Al-Hamidi. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing his familiar blue colored shorts trimmed with silver and white. At the weight he scaled 10 stone, four pounds. Tonight is his 289th professional appearance in a ring, closing in on 300 contests, a professional for 15 years this year, ladies and gentlemen. From the knees, and here is Mr. Reliable Christian Wade. Timekeeper at the bell, Barry Pender from the Steel City of Sheffield, and the referee from South Yorkshire, the world class, Mr. Michael Alexander. Four three minute rounds. As you both know the rules, so let's just have a good thing. Okay? Most of all, we have to defend yourselves all the time. Okay? Here we go then, first fight live from Doncaster Racecourse and it's an interesting one to kick off the night, two journeymen in with each other and it's one where both men will, will be in the ring to try and get a win tonight. Joining me on commentary, Jimmy Harrington and Steffi Bull and go to you first Jimmy, these two guys, it's a real opportunity. Seconds out, round one. Real opportunity for either man to get a win tonight. Yeah, good evening Luke, uh, welcome to Doncaster and uh, as was picked up in commentary there, it's uh, Christian Lake, 200. 18th bout this evening, but if you look at it, it's a combined fight of 424 fight this evening. So you've got a mix of styles, you've got a contrast of styles, you've got a southpaw, and an orthodox, you've got the height and reach with Christian Lake, obviously the experience, but the age with Yusuf Alamidi by three years. Yeah, and Steffi, it'll be a strange one for both of them really, as in they're going in there to win the fight tonight and that's not something that they'll have thought about much over recent years. No, I, I would imagine uh, Steve's had a bit of a, a pull out on the show, so he's yeah. gave, gave these two fighters an opportunity to, to grab a win. So, yeah, I think it makes it very interesting that the fact that both of these are journeyman fighters, both away fighters, and tonight I think they'll bring a different attitude and they'll the both uh, be desperate to win. Yeah, and we've seen over the years when they've been in the ring that they sometimes pull out performances where, you know, Alhamidi's got a win over Anthony Crawler. I've seen Christian Light upset the apple cart a few times. Both these guys are good boxers, but sometimes they don't show it, and tonight's an opportunity to do that. Well, the, the, yeah, the thing is... The, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. The, the thing is with these guys is uh, the, the, the what's tagged as journeyman fighters, and a journey for... for, for fans and supporters that don't, don't really know what the, the gist of a journeyman is, it's basically they fight whenever the phone rings to earn money. And, and they're coming to fight the best kids up and down the country so the, the, they're in survival mode as well as keeping themselves safe, they want to box again the following week or even the week after and that's how they earn a living and they're very well respected in the fight game and these, these two guys now will be desperate for a win on the record so it could, could make an interesting fight. Yeah, and as Steph is picking up in commentary there uh, they're going to survival mode so they're not going to be wanting to come in close and clash in the bed so if either of them are getting cuts and it's going to take away their income it, it's unbelievable really christian's uh, experience when he, he's 37 year old I, I actually fought christian as a pro myself at doncaster dome over 10 years ago and to think he's still here now uh, knocking up 300 fights, it's quite phenomenal. I mean, it, I think he's after breaking the record, which is 300 fights, I think it is, if I'm correct. Yeah, it is. And, and then you've got uh, Ali Imi, who's been a great servant to British boxing. He's actually 40 year old, and he's in here with 135 fights. Back when he, 10 years ago, he, he was a real, t you know, he's got, like you've noted, he's got the wins over Anthony Crawler, who's, who's genuine world-class fighters. The, these could fight a few years ago, and, and they were a nightmare for anyone, but obviously, Times uh, change, situations change, and they're, they're both in and trying to earn as much money as they can and keep keep safe. 
Yeah, and it's fascinating, isn't it, watching the two of them trying to get on the front foot uh, and yeah, be got, more offensive. You've got Christian there, keeps swathing orthodox southpaw. Yeah, obviously. First round over there, I don't think there's much in that first round. I think this is going to be a very interesting how uh, Michael Alexander uh, scores this fight because, yeah. you know, who, who do you give that round to, can't you? <coughs> Not much really in that action there, other Steffi. I think they're both just looking at each other, seizing each other up. But I, uh, I think definitely they're going to up the game in the next few rounds. One of, one of these fighters is going to need a win. I mean, one of the problems both men have got is that they're so experienced, they know all the little tricks that usually Christian or Alamedi, they'd be employing against these young prospects. When yeah. one of the fighters does it, the other one knows exactly yeah. what's coming. As we keep saying, it's survival mode. They know, they know how to eat, eat the rounds up, eat the seconds in the round. Corners, 10 seconds. Yep. Seconds out, round two. Yeah, they're experts at surviving in a yeah. boxing ring. I think uh, from a promoter's uh, perspective, like we said, I think Steve Wood's done great here actually giving these fighters an opportunity because Everybody knows how it works to be an own fight. You have to sell tickets, and yeah, this, paid this fight will be money. yeah. And, and this, this fight tonight will be uh, Steve. Steve will be covering this fight and paying these two kids for uh, for an opportunity. So yeah, I think uh, top man Steve for doing that. Good, well done, Steve. Yeah, Steffi, you know yourself, it's not an easy game at present. The boxing game. No, not at all. It's putting it's, bums on seats. Yeah, and exactly. Inter so entertaining fights on, because that's all people want to be seeing. Isn't yeah, it? exactly. Knockouts, none, none of these fighters will have uh, <coughs> brought any support. I think it's up and up and out this little pace. I think uh, Christian yeah, Christian's come, come out come, there. Come out with a bit Annie. more ambition. Uh, Yusuf dropped down to body there. Uh, uh, the, these fighters will be full of mutual respect. You can see that. The, you mm. know, it's they're both used to being on the back foot, surviving. And like I said earlier on in the first round, it, these kids are going in with the best fighters in the UK, week in, week out. So they're, they're in they're in a different situation tonight. Yeah, and I know Steve would initially try to get Ibra Riaz to fight Christian late tonight, Ibra being unavailable. But those three have been servants to the game over the oh, years. Oh, un unbelievable. So so much respect. As a promoter myself, I've had, I've had them on my shows uh, numerous times, and every time they come, they're coming against they're coming against all odds, against top, top fighters, that these young prospects that not only can fight, they've got screaming fans, some of them hundreds, and nothing phases them. You know, they crack on with job and... Yeah, so much respect for him, so much. So a question here for you then, Steph, you've been a pro yourself. If you had the backing, financial backing to do this, would you give an opportunity to journeyman? To, oh, 100%, to put, to put, yeah, no, yeah. To put I'm, a tournament together? Yeah, well, a tournament together. I don't. I think I'd need a loan to do that, Jimmy. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, I've you got... You see what I'm saying, though? What yeah. About, they don't get opportunities. No, it would not be great for them, wouldn't it, to, I've, I've, to myself, win a title? I'm, I manage... Uh, one of the hardest, yeah, one right. of the hardest uh, journeymen right. going. I manage Adam, Adam Jones. Jones, and on my next, on my next show, he's he, he's going to be fighting in home corner and, and, and opportunity to win. So it's great, Fantastic. great for Adam, who's solid, solid fighter. And uh, up more respect you know, for Adam Jones, yeah. proper boxing man in his death. Yeah, yeah and, and we're seeing it more and more now with Danny Little's fighting in the home corner in Hull in a week's time. Yeah, Craig yeah. Derbyshire won the central area, Darryl Sharp did. Yeah, These guys yeah. are slowly starting to get the opportunities, and it shows that when they do, they do take them. Take them, yeah, without a doubt. They're, they're, they're proper fighters, they're, they're real fighters, fighting the best fighters week in, week out. You know, there's many home fighters that won't, won't even. Won't yeah, and, Getting a ring with these two. Wouldn't even go in, uh, yeah. go in a, a real fight. So, you know, from from us boxing people, uh, th these fighters have got so much respect. I think Christian Leighton hit that round for me. I think he's worked yeah. right. We're just a little bit busier. Yeah, it just seems to pick it up from the start of the round, like you picked up on there, Steffi. Yeah, and you can see the highlights there. Is that jab, wasn't it, from Christian? Yeah. He came out with that jab, and when he threw it, he was he was moving it yeah, moved, backwards. Moved in to set himself up for the. The, the truth right of the matter is, you're watching this fight and you just feel like each fight could do so much more. Yeah. It's, it's as if they're in that mentality and that mould. Survival it, mode, it, yeah. It's not in them to do anymore, but, I mean, that, that's how it is. But I strongly believe that Christian Lake could really pick it up here and get a comfortable win. 
and which, which would look great on his record. Yeah, and Corners, while, 10 seconds. While we're mentioning all the journeymen, I think Willie Warburton deserves a shout out as well because he beat Lloyd Campbell a couple of weeks ago. Six He's still in there beating prospects. Well, Willie Round Warburton, what, three. what an hard man. What an hard man William Warburton is. I mean, he, he is another real fighter. Uh, if he fancies it on night, you're in, you're yeah, in you're serious in trouble. Headache, you? Yeah. you know, so much respect for him. But yeah, you know, Christian here putting his shots together well, he's using his range well, and uh, in glimpses, he's looking like an own fighting, an own fighter. fighter. It's, you know, he, you just feel he could step up the gas in and put so, so put a more, bit more shots to his work. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, it feels like the, the difference is Alhamidi is still kind of in that journeyman road where. Uh, yeah, little, I mean, look at it, he, left up there his, his shots Alameda. are all short, sharp, nipping yeah. them in. It's almost as if, you know, they're not they're not fully loading up, kind of thing, which which is yeah. understandable. The, 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 you know, they've both come in a short notice. They've took this job, and yeah, as we're looking at this, Christian's having a little bit more success. Keeps switching stances there. Keeps trying to draw Yusuf out of that journeyman mode, but he's just. Tight in front of him, Minister Steffi. There's yeah, nothing much from him. You, you believe, just he said exactly the same way. Yeah. He, he, he puts little shots there, yeah, to then tools and freezes. You, you think he could do with something a little bit more or put more in his shots, but you know, maybe these these boys will be boxing again next week. <coughs> when you look on paper, that both of these guys are a combined age of. Uh, 77, is it 77 years yeah, old? It's unbelievable. Yeah. And, you know. 425th fourth five. Al Hamidi just started to land a little few yeah. more shots in this round. Yeah, like I said, he, he, he's, he's putting his shots together. Uh, like I say, I, I, I won't like to be Michael Alexander scoring in this fight. No. I can I can smell a draw rip, rip, rip all over it to be fair. Yeah, I think both both men won't be too happy with that with the opportunity to get the win if they both walk away with a draw. Yeah, I think they'll be happy with a draw. Mm. It's not a win, it's not a loss. True. You know, it keeps them going. It keeps them going. Working next week, both got paid. Yeah. Just dropped downstairs there, did Yusuf? We right left. I mean, the part of the fight has been when Christian can use that jab effectively, he, he's finding it easy in there, but just when Alamedi gets on the inside and throws those body shots and the yeah, short he, shots that we're talking about. He, he throws in bunches as well, so Christian's doing the cleaner work from the outside, but when Alamedi's uh, in, in, on his chest kind of thing, he puts two and three together and they all, you know, short and sharp. And like I say, it's how Michael's scoring it. This as well, Steffi, just looking at the two uh, corner teams here as well, you've got an active boxer at present in Max Hughes and you've got an ex-boxer in Josh Morgan who are both far younger than who are competing. Yeah, so yeah, mean, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a strange one, isn't it? It's great, they're learning all the time. I, I, I went out with Josh Whale last week, uh, British Bantamweight champion, and he, he, he trains a few few professionals himself. We're on Sky Sports and uh, he yeah. had uh, Serge Ambomo in a cracking little fight yeah, last week. Yeah, cracking fight, I watched on you know, TV. Ju just, just because they're active fighters, I mean, the, these yeah, kids absolutely... Staying, staying in the sport, the, yeah, they, they, they love like, the game. Just looking over there, it's a lad that you managed, Steffi, I trained, Josh Morgan, it's great to yeah. see him out, isn't it? We're, won a central area title, did Josh, and then you've got Max Hughes in two weeks, fighting for the British Super Featherweight title. Uh, it's brilliant, brilliant to see him involved in boxing still. Little, little plug there from Steffi, it's a lad that he manages and I trained, so it's a lad that we're firmly believing in it. You know it, Jimmy, lad. 10 seconds. Seconds out, fourth and final round. Yeah, we're just coming into the last round now then. We've got <coughs> Christian come out, took the centre of the ring, popping that jab out. Let's have a look, see what ambition he's got left in him. Yeah, and if you two were in either of the guys' corners, what message would we be giving them going into this last round? I'd Stay say, safe, yeah, you're working next week. This is a, yeah, caught. this is a brutal fight, boys. Keep moving, keep jabbing, and keep yourself safe. That's what I'd be advising them. Watching the Reds I, coming I in just, close I there. just believe that these kids, 
cut up it. You know, the, the, the solid British operators, they're up and down the country. These will probably be on many, many shows together. They'll probably chat in them changing rooms behind. They'll probably be... It, this is an awkward situation Yeah, they've been for in a strange so. situation this evening, one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're really warmed up now. You, they're opening up a bit. You see uh, Christian Lake being a bit more adventurous. Yeah, it's as... Uh, as I don't know if uh, TV weren't picked up as they come out, uh, Yusuf didn't know which corner to walk to. Get in, Steffi. Yeah. Me, Steffi and myself are I'm both a, commenting I'm on I'm at that. home corner. I'm, I'm in corner, way. yeah. So, like Steffi just said, it's a very strange situation that both chaps are in this evening. But they've been very professional. They've entertained the fans, and that's what boxing's about. Al Hamidi's just grown into this fight a little bit more as it's gone on. He carried yeah, on the fourth as yeah. he did the third. I, th I think he's got draw written all over it. Yeah. You, you can't split these guys. Christian doing nice long work at range, and then Al Hamidi gets close and whips three and four in together, keeps it busy. They're giving it a go. Hey, Christian just falling short of range there. Yusuf comes in. It's trademark Al Hamidi, that the lead left hook, isn't it? Yeah. He seems to throw that shot a lot. Slips. It's unbelievable to think that Christian Late, out of his 288 fights, has only been stopped five times. That is that is quite that phenomenal. Is yeah, that is some doing. And when you think these kids are absolutely going in, going in week in, week out with the best fighters in country, yeah. with some. Some go on to win world titles, British titles, European titles. This is not one or two fights a year. The, these guys are having between 15 and 20 fights yeah, so at, at least a year. So to, to have a career of uh, uh, almost 300 fights and only have four, five stoppage defeats, you've got to take your hat off to uh, Christian Lake there, you know. So as we're on uh, Facebook Live here, so all you boxing nuts out there, get on Box Rec and see how many of Christian Lake's opponents have at present have turned into world champions. Well done, boys. That'll be a nice stat to have a look at, Stephanie. Yeah, it'd be interesting. He's been in with some special fighters. Yeah. I think you're right there, Steffi. That has got a draw written all over it. We'll just wait to see now. It's not what often Michael... I'm wrong, Jimmy, lad. No, it's not. And you were you're working with the main event tonight, Jimmy? Yeah, Reese Mould. Up later on this evening against Jamie yep. Spate. Yeah, I've got Jack Daniels on next with his dad who trains in Paul Daniels. So you're earning a lot of money tonight then, Jimmy. We all wish we were a pound behind you tonight. You know, Andrew, I, I don't get one penny out of this game. I do it for the love of it. I'd go up and down this country. I just I'm looking forward to watching this Jack Daniels. I've heard some uh, good reports from him. We're a top, top amateur as a junior. Interested to see what is uh, what it looks like and how he's developing. And we'll pass over to MC Michael Pass for the result. Ladies and gentlemen, star referee Michael Alexander has adjudged the contest. 38 points apiece. The result is a draw. <laughs> Christian Lake, the money there. Yusuf Al Hamidi. So if you just give us a moment, ladies and gentlemen, just going to view both boxes in the corner and see how they thought the, bo the boat panned out. <clears throat> uh, just while we wait for Michael Pass to grab both boxes, uh, we said it before, but a draw is a fair result, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Stephanie, no, you yeah. go first. I'll let you go first. Yeah, I, think, I, like it, I think it was a very even contest. You know, they both uh, kept an eye work rate. They didn't jab and run around the ring. They kept themselves busy. And, uh, you know, the most deserved draw for both. Yeah, just a case of six and two threes. Yeah. Yeah, and Michael Pass has got both fighters, so we'll hand over to him for the post-match interviews. Thank you, gentlemen. Collectively, guys, I think it's a total of 425 or 26 contests for you both. 
Uh, you obviously weren't nervous, either of you tonight. How do you think it went for you, first of all, Yusuf? Oh, it's very good. It's really good fight, and it's very good fight. Anyway, you have good experience and you have good move and good punch as well. I wish him all the best. Do you enjoyed it? Oh, yeah, I love. It. You wish him all the best. It's like you've just started out, Christian. As we know, I think it's 15 years in September. Am I right? 15 years. I mean, yeah, that's you know, it, it is a long time, but uh, I've been having fun, and uh, I've still got a couple of years left, so I'll keep on having fun until until I retire. Well. Well, a decent analogy is like Jimmy Anderson cricket, closing in on record after record. As far as British boxers are concerned, you obviously want to be a triple centurion like Peter Buckley from Birmingham, whom we all really respected years back, 10 years ago. Um, do you see, see yourself surpassing that record, or would you be happy just finishing on 300? Well, on paper, I've got the rest of this season, one more season, and then I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm retired. But I can see me probably ending up on 320, something. Well, I think the British record is a guy called Len Wickwall back in 1947. I think it was 470. But he was post-war, wasn't he, before? So he didn't have this six-day rule. So I probably could have been on 600 now, you know, but... We all know you could have done. Thanks very much indeed for a great fight tonight. All the best for the rest of the year. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yusuf Al-Hamidi, Christian Leite.